My name is Choma Nardi and I'm the fashion news director of Vogue.com. One of the most exciting aspects of my job is discovery and we're about to meet with three designers I think are really exciting and, and have very distinct voices as they prepare for New York Fashion Week. We're on our way to Charles Harbison's studio right now. <laughs> That's a problem. Maybe I can... Oh, Rhonda! Am I messing No, up? you're fine. I just feel so bad. It will be nice to see Charles Harbison. He's still in the initial stages of creation, so we'll get to see him as he's still putting together the collection. Hi. <laughs> I wrote about Charles's label for the September issue last year, and I think he's really developed his outerwear. We shot this one for Vogue for the September issue. The balance of colours is beautiful. You've got that kind of hunter green and this pop of red on one sleeve. And he has a great sense of proportion because he studied architecture initially. There's this balance, there's a sort of sense of harmony in the silhouette. I'm actually excited to be able to have a little sneak peek because I um, because I know I've never been to your studio before. Anything you want, Shama. <laughs> People think of Vogue as a magazine, but it's more than that. There's nurturing designers and helping designers sort of develop their voice. Harbison, he'll be working on his third presentation for Fashion Week. Um, I've been on the other pieces as well. My name's on the label, so this is my baby. Um, but yeah, we have like a week and a half, and I'm wow. literally just getting my muslin, so... Oh my God. It's so uncomfortably tight. <laughs> We were a week away from Fashion Week and there were no clothes in his space. It was a little nerve-wracking. That'll work. Tell me what you're working on right now. Like, I'm excited for fall. Um, it's Sade, Pocahontas and John Smith okay. and romanticism. <laughs> this image here, I was just, like, blown Lena, away by. I know. It's I so know. easy. Denim on denim. Denim on <laughs> denim and, like, so insouciant. And she's like, I don't care. And yes, my lip is bold. Yeah. And my ponytail is tight. I love her. <laughs> my point of view can be a little uh, challenging. So there is a particular woman that wears Harbison, and I'm completely fine with that. And the whole idea is she couldn't find her clothes, and so she put on this man's clothes, and she put them on wrong because she's unfamiliar with them. Um, I like that idea, and then she just gallops away because she's done with him. Cool, I love this idea. That this sort of traditional line between menswear and, and women's wear is completely dissolving. And that's something that we saw coming through the collections this season a lot. We called it ambisexual, and he was very inspired with this first collection by Patti Smith and Robert Maplethorpe and the fact that they shared an apartment, they shared clothes, and they were forerunners of this idea. I think people have this idea that you draw a sketch and somehow that sketch is translated into a look that comes down the runway. It can take six fittings to fall on the body just so. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's countdown time. Things are really, 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 really intense. It's no small feat. <laughs> yeah. During New York Fashion Week, it is a huge deal. Buyers, editors, everybody in fashion descends on New York for that really intense week. It's your opportunity to show everybody what you're doing and what you're working on. Hey guys, how much more does she have to do? You're done? Can y'all maybe like shift into the corners? You rarely get a glimpse at a designer working on a presentation and just seeing how it really is a hands-on process. A presentation is more about creating an environment for the clothes, creating a setup for the clothes. It's much smaller and more intimate. A show is just what you think of when you think of like a runway. That's kind of the distinction. Okay, there must be extras. Come on, guys, come on. Do me a favor, put your phones down for now. Everything that I've worked for is on you, girl, and you all look spectacular. You have no idea how grateful I am. The scene was, it was great. Charles had his models up on different levels, so you got to really see all the details, and he did a great job of styling. It was very impressive. It seemed very polished and together, and there was a sense of unity, and that was, I think that's always a good sign. It's interesting how it all came together, thankfully, in the end. <laughs> So we're on our way to see Adam Selman and see how far along he is with the new collection. I got a call on Wednesday for a Beyonce thing. Wow. And they were like, we need to buy Sunday. But you can't really say no to Beyonce. 